AP Calculus AB, Limits and Removable Discontinuity. Here we have this function that is, well, we're asked to evaluate the limit of x minus 2 over x squared minus x minus 2 as x approaches 2. First thing I want to do here is I want to make sure that there's an issue here. And there is, let's take a look, 2 squared minus 2 minus 2 equals 0. What am I doing? I'm checking to make sure that there is an issue. Otherwise, I could just evaluate it the way it is. However, we can't. We have an issue here. So what I'm going to do is look at this. And this is what I'm looking at. I'm asking myself quickly, is this piece right here, is this a factor of this? And in fact, that it is. So I'm going to go ahead and factor the denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and factor that out. So I'm just going to rewrite this whole thing, the limit as x approaches 2 of x minus 2 over. I'm just looking at this algebraically, and this is the same as x minus 2 times x plus 1. Normally what I would do here, I'm going to remove this discontinuity, so I would write here that there is a hole at x is equal to 2. After I do that, I'm going to go ahead and remove that, right? x minus 2 over x minus 2 is 1. Now we can just go ahead and evaluate from here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to evaluate f of 2 and f of 2 is f of 2 is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 I'm just evaluating it I'm just filling in the blanks from here which gives us f of 2 is equal to 1 third so the limit is equal to 1 third so there's our limit. Let me show you what this would look like on the, cal on the calculator really quick on your TI Inspire cast. So I'm going to put this in twice. First, I'm going to put it in the way I found it, which was this way. So I'm going to hit Control Division. I'm going to put in x minus 2 over x squared minus x minus 2. So there's that function <coughs> in all of its glory. Here, we can't see that there's a problem here at 2, but there is. And the way I can demonstrate that to you, you know, look, give me a second to do that, but I'm going to show you that, that there's a hole in this function. And that hole is the, is the removable discontinuity, which we, in fact, removed, and we notated that we had a hole in the function at that point. But if I put this thing in, I'm just going to hit tab, and I'm going to put another function. I'm going to put this in. After, I factored out, after we factored out the discontinuity, we got... Then we got 1 over x plus 1. And there it is. It lays right on top of the other one. But if you look at this differently, if we go to here, we go to menu, we go to table, and we split this screen, we can see on the first one, it shows that before we remove the discontinuity, it shows that it's undefined here. But after we removed it, we see that, in fact, our limit is 1 third. So just wanted you to be able to see that and be able to use your calculator to, with uh, all the bells and whistles. So thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe.